There are several types of radiation, and we're going to look at each one individually. One type is alpha decay. All of these, um, these types of radiation are called decay because the nucleus is releasing a particle or, or energy or both, right? So it's, it's falling apart. It's not holding itself together anymore. It's falling apart and part of it is being released. In alpha decay, right, it's this particle right here that's being released. This is the alpha particle. And this little symbol right here stands for alpha. Okay. If we look at the nucleus, these little blue dots are neutrons. And these little red dots are protons. Or maybe it's the other way around. It wasn't defined. But either way, we know that in a nucleus, we've got protons and neutrons. So one of those colors is protons and one of those colors is a neutron. If you look at the alpha particle, right, we've got two protons and two neutrons. And that's always what an alpha particle is. An alpha particle always contains two protons and two neutrons, and it's being thrown out of that nucleus. So originally, this particle was part of the nucleus, but that was not a good ratio of protons to neutrons. So it threw some of the particles out. So when that happens, right, then we have a whole a change in the particle. We have a change in the atom. If we're throwing out two protons, then we have a new element, right? We notice we started here with one element and we ended up here with another element. Remember that we can show an element, we can write that um, complete symbol where this is the atomic number, I mean, sorry, atomic mass. And down here, this is the atomic number. Right? We talked about that previously. So if we're looking at that complete symbol, we're starting out with 94 protons and ending up with only 92. Where do those other two protons go? They are right here in the alpha particle, right? We started out with 240 particles in the nucleus, and we're down now at the end to only 236. Two of the, so we lost four things. Right, two of them were the protons, the other two are the two neutrons. So, if we add up all of these particles, right, these 236 subatomic particles and these four subatomic particles and the alpha particle, we get that total 240 that we started with. Right, so here's what happens when we release an alpha particle, we're always releasing two protons and two neutrons. When we release protons, we get a new element, so, and it lowers the mass. Both of those things happen. When we release the two neutrons, we lower the mass even more, right? We can write this as a, an equation, right? When this particle, this atom, this nucleus decays, it's gonna break apart into two things. One of those things is this new element, nucleus, right? And one of them is this alpha particle. We're starting off with this element here. It's got 208 things in the nucleus and 84 of those things are protons. But when it decays, we know that it's going to release four particles, right? So 208 minus four gives us 204. We know we're gonna have a total of 204 things left in the nucleus. Where are the other four? They're right here in the, uh, in the alpha particle. We also know that two of those four things were protons. So although we started with 84, we're going to lose two of them and end up with only 82. To find the symbol, we just have to look up 82 on the periodic table. Right? Now you may notice that this is written here. And out, this is an alpha particle. An alpha particle can be written like this, or it can be written like this. That's because two protons and two neutrons, that is what is in the helium nucleus, right? A helium um, atom has an atomic number of two and a total mass of four. 
Mm -hmm. okay, and that's, that's what this is showing. So it's really just a helium atom with all the electrons stripped off. That's what the that particle is. Okay, we can go the other direction too. We can start with um, I mean, we don't know what we started with here, right? We started with a blank. I know I've got a picture here to kind of illustrate what's happening, but that's not the same equation that we're using now. So we're starting here with thorium. I mean, sorry, ending with thorium and an alpha particle. And the question is, what did we start with? Well, we know whatever it was, it had a total atomic mass of 234 plus 4. That's 238, right? and had an atomic number of 90 plus two. So then we just have to go look at 92 on the periodic table. All right, so alpha particles are really, really large particles. It's a whole helium nucleus, right? So in terms of radiation, that's very big. So it's relatively easy to stop. You can stop it with just a piece of paper or clothes or even some, the top layer of your skin will stop it. So we don't get too worried about alpha radiation. And it has a plus two charge from those two protons right in it. Okay, let's do a little bit of um, practice, some study practice. Why does emitting an alpha particle change the identity, sorry about that, of the atom? Okay, so does the atom gain protons during when it emits an alpha particle? No, it actually loses protons. If it gained protons, that would change it to another atom, but it, that's not what happens. It also does not gain neutrons, right? It does release protons, and that is what changes its, um, its identity, so... It does not actually release electrons at all. It also releases neutrons, but neutrons do not have anything to do with the identity of the element itself. So what happens to the mass of an atom that emits an alpha particle? Remember that an alpha particle, right, is a helium nucleus. It's two protons, two neutrons. So that means it's four total things. Each of those have an, an atomic mass unit of one. So if it's releasing, it's, it's giving those away, right? Um, then the mass, well, first let's think about, is it going to increase or decrease? Well, if the nucleus is throwing this particle out, then it's definitely going to decrease. The mass isn't getting bigger. The mass is getting smaller, right? And is it going to decrease by two or by four? Well, that depends. What contributes to mass? Protons? Neutrons? Both? Both of them do, right? So the mass is going to increase by four. Let's fill in this blank. Francium releases an alpha particle. What atom does it become? Well, if it's releasing an alpha particle, then we know it's going to release four total subatomic particles. Right? And we know that it's going to have a mass, I mean, so it changes its mass by four. We know its atomic number is going to decrease by two because two of those subatomic particles are protons. So we need to look up what is, um, Atomic number 85. If we look at our periodic table, atomic number 85, AT. Right. So that's acetane 207. 